So here we are on the Big Frith Lane in Cookham Dean and I'm going to show you a spectacular four bed cottage that we have on the market uh, available to rent unfurnished. Uh, you'll have just seen me walk across the uh, driveway where there's plenty of parking for a couple of cars. We're literally around the corner from the Jolly Farmer pub. If you want to be in Cookham Dean then this really is a very very special property and really couldn't be better situated. The uh, Cookham Dean Primary is about 100 metres down the road and this property has had an awful lot of work done to it in uh, recent months and years. So we're in the entrance hall, there's obviously uh, storage there, cloakroom cupboard, lovely wooden floors and if I go around to the left first, little understairs storage and front, uh, front sort of sitting room with fireplace and that looks out uh, of the front towards uh, Big Frith Lane. It's a nice built-in storage either side of the fireplace. And then just to the right we have a handy utility room. The appliances uh, already in there as you can see. On the right here, just at the bottom of the stairs, we've got the cloakroom. Just quickly show you that. As I say, everything is in absolutely pretty much as new condition. In fact, a lot of it is as new, I don't mind pretty much. So cloakroom, don't need to see too much more of that. Now we have a spectacular kitchen, dining, living area on this side. As you can see, superbly proportioned. Kitchen at this side, and you could have it laid out however you wish. Um, obviously you could have breakfast or dining table over on that side of the room. Lovely fitted kitchen. Very uh, pleasant indeed. I'll show you the garden in a minute but it overlooks the, the garden and the terrace. The wooden floors from the hallway continue through here and you have a lovely living area with underfloor heating. Um, obviously you could have a dining, bigger, bigger dining table at this end, what have you, however you wanted to lay it out. Two sets of um, um, folding doors out onto the really good sized patio uh, terraced area. Um, actually I'll take you out there now, why not? So. Now there's going to be a trellis just um, extended, see the trellis on the right here, that's going to be extended over the back wall just so there's even more privacy, I mean it's not particularly overlooked anyway as you can see apart from the house that's in the distance over there. So once the trellis is up that will uh, be even more private, side access, access rather down to the uh, driveway at the front. What a great house. Log store, I'm sort of pointing out the obvious now, Sh uh, shed, uh, there's a little burnt patch in the uh, grass there um, that is going to be re-turfed and actually you know for the location which is right in the middle of Cook and Dean the size of the garden, I mean the size of the property is good as well but the garden and patio area is really quite uh, unusual to have. So the room I didn't show you was back here Again, flexible as to how you could use it. TV room, another sitting room, study area, what have you. It's the second room that overlooks the front of the house, which is there. So from this room, we can just go around in a circle, uh, back into the hallway, and this time head up the stairs to have a look at the bedrooms and the bathroom. So upstairs we have four very good sized bedrooms, uh, one slightly smaller than the other but uh, I would say it's four doubles. On the left here uh, we've probably got this, the second largest double overlooking the front of the house. Uh, this wardrobe preferably stays, uh, can, can be removed if it's a deal breaker but it does belong to the property and there's a little bit of boxing work down the uh, bottom right there as you can see. Family bathroom over this side, our bathroom and shower room actually, because we've got the bath at that end. Shaver socket and uh, light are still to be fitted just by the sink there. And the 
she had a cubicle at the far end. Super smart family bathroom. So across the landing we'll see the other bedrooms and the master. Plenty of space up here. Good sized double here. So this is the, the third double bedroom I guess you'd call it. Fourth bedroom uh, is, I, mean, I said a large single, I mean I would actually call it a small double. It's, it would certainly fit a double plus a few bits of other furniture. So um, a very usable size room for sure. Yeah, you'd definitely get a double in there easily. Quick view of the garden just uh, from the top here so you can see from an elevated position. And last but not least, the master bedroom, which sort of goes front to back on this side of the house. So a very nice size, with the benefit of this um, sort of dressing area, wardrobe area. There's some knobs to go on the doors, I think, but they just uh, slide back. And there's hang hanging area on the left side of that. And a very nice um, shower, ensuite shower room. As I say, a few, a few jobs still to be done in the house and then uh, final clean and what have you. But everything is in really very, very nice order and pretty much ready to go. And that's the four double bedroomed um, cottage that we have on Big Frith Lane in Cookham Dean.